sad, uh, but uh, in so, insofar as our politics has played out over the years, very critical. Uh, we've seen the the, the passing of uh, Simeon Yachai, um, long-term serving cabinet, um, I mean, long-term cabinet uh, minister, um, very powerful chief uh, secretary those days, um, Linas. Um, I don't know what, um, and then of course today was the first anniversary. Um, the Moy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting how fast time flies let's yes. start let's start with the uh, francis over there very quickly you have reflections because we need to go home yeah, yeah. i i have fond memories of at my very young age as a journalist covering covering um uh, simeon nyachai and always found him to be a very very classy politician and very well informed and i also think it it has something to do with his long uh, stint in public service Maybe there are some interesting things that s most of our young politicians can learn from him. The grip um, on, on, on politics and, and the understanding of how our country's political landscape looks like. Um, those are some of the interesting lessons that many of our young politicians and upcoming politicians should learn. And it's also unfortunate that we are losing quite a number of these um, older politicians. We lost Joe Nyaga, now Simeon Nyachai. Uh, there are some good lessons that we can continue to learn. Of course, uh, he wasn't 100% um, perfect. He had his own flaws, but he also had his own strengths. And I think the, the idea is to borrow and keep the good things, even as we do away with the not so good things. Uh, Joe, my first interaction with the, uh, the late Simeon Nyachai was actually when he rejected the appointment as Minister for Industrialization. Uh, he was Finance Minister before that. And uh, he told Parliament in Mombasa that the country is broke. Mm -hmm. And that did not work well with the President Daniel Torot Richard Apmoy and he made a cabinet reshuffle, moving him to the Ministry of Industrialization. Nyachai uh, called a press conference I was a very young reporter uh, at the time, and uh, we went there and I said he's not going to accept uh, that position and he would instead be leaving uh, cabinet. Later interaction was, um, of course, a number of news events, but of course when, we were, when I was producing the, sh the, the program Meet Jomo Kenyatta, he was a very, very good source because here was a provincial commissioner at the time Jomo Kenyatta was dying, or provincial commissioner at the time Jomo Kenyatta was serving as uh, as president. Very, very interesting insights. And we had a long interview we recorded over uh, a period of two hours, uh, complete with breaks in between um, to allow him to put his thoughts together. Very, very sharp mind, a very firm person who was quite worried even when he spoke to him on the documentary Moi, Moi and Mwigai, and he would tell us he was worried about uh, the direction the current generation of leaders, he said, were attacking the country. He would, be very, he would have been very embarrassed had he lived until uh, uh, Osoro met um, uh, Simba Arati. Uh, that, that was embarrassing. Uh, so this, this was very, uh, he belongs to a a solid generation of uh, Kenyan politicians and uh, civil servants, a very interesting uh, a combination. I also remember off, off the interview what he said was a story on uh, virtues. And he told me a story about corruption. He said corruption is very costly. And uh, you know he was telling us in, um, in, in Kiswahili and a bit of Kikisi because I, I speak uh, good Kisi, that when you steal money from the government, you will never rest because somewhere down the line, some clerk, the age of your mm -hmm. grandchild, will come and find the file and ask how was this money uh, spent. So you will live a tortured life. And, uh, and, and he said, Kula ugali namboga, don't steal money from, from government. That was Nyachai. Of course, there was the big bit about how this first generation of public servants handled the years of uh, early years of independence and the child was very forthright in telling me that uh, you know we shared land um zay jomo kenyatta told me you are the one distributing land uh, and in an african setup 
the, the, the young man who serves the meat must leave for some for himself. And he said, senior government officials were getting land mm -hmm. like that. That's how they appropriated, uh, appropriated some of the, of, of the land. And remember, he was in charge of, um, uh, of the uh, of, of central province at the, at the time. So very, very interesting stories from a very solid man, a strong family man. And uh, you know, we did this interview uh, not once, but twice in his family setup. So you get to see him uh, running a big family. And this was a disciplinary, and he didn't need to ask. You could see the way people behave in his compound, in his home. There is a way things are done. It's um, this is the son, a true son of uh, Chief Nyandusi. <laughs> In interesting. I, I I covered him many times um, as a young business reporter, actually at KBC when he was uh, was was in Treasury. Um, but I also remember the big fight he had with John Harron Mao. Remember, um, actually there was a fight uh, about certain Treasury officials that John Harron Mao wanted to 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 arrest because the Kenyan Anti Corruption Authority, the the what then would become the precursor to to the ESCC yes. that we have now. Before then, of course there was KACC, but they had prosecutorial powers, and so they would actually go arresting people and trying to charge them, and, and he had big problems with that because he thought that, um, he, he said at the time that uh, Mwao's um, authority was being unfair to the six treasury officials who um, I think he had accused of um, importing sugar or something, I, I, if I remember correctly. And uh, uh, it The list was actually longer than six treasury yeah. officials, but yeah. that could be a story for another for day. A, for, yes, but About half the cabinet yeah. Was implicated by the KSEC uh, for corruption. Yeah, so so that it became a big thing, and actually um, uh, covering the Mwau tribunal that then ensued at the KSEC actually became my first big story, which I I, I, I voiced. So when I remember yeah. Simeon, I I usually remember him uh, from those beginnings. But I think he was a representative of a generation of politicians who had a, a better sense of country than what we see now. People who truly believed that there was a limit to uh, where politics would go, where if it threatened the integrity of the country, the image of the country, then you would pull back. And, 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 and we saw that uh, with that gener generation of politicians. And I think that was um, something that uh, they bequeathed to us, whether we take it forward um, is, is something for us to really uh, ask ourselves. Yeah. Interesting. Indeed. We go home. Yvonne? Yes, as Jamila would say. Let's let's take this <laughs>